Good evening, hyperspinners. Today, I'm going to be talking through the emulator Nestopia, so get ready. First things first, we are going to go to our module settings uh, folder here, rock, under rocket launcher folder, modules, and then Nestopia. You're going to see a Nestopia auto hotkey there, and this is just a good rule of uh, practice here. Uh, when you open up the auto hotkey, you're going to see a URL here. This is where you're going to get the emulator. So go ahead and plug that into a browser here, and you're going to see something that looks like this. And so all you got to do is download uh, where it says download, go figure. And it's got the latest version that uh, the rocket launcher uh, auto hotkey supports, which you can see there, 1.42. And go ahead and download that. And what you're going to do is you're going to extract that in your emulator folder. Uh, so I'm going to go to hyperspin emulators. Going to go down to Nestopia. And you're going to extract it here. So. Um, you know, basically, uh, you know, just like any other emulator, uh, it may support cheats. So, uh, you know, if you, you like the Game Genie sort of uh, gig, uh, this does uh, support that. Uh, I will include the uh, cheat files, uh, if you will, in uh, my mega site. Uh, and, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get started here. So, uh, once you've... Uh, unzipped the download what you're going to do is go to uh, hyper hq and you're going to hit the main menu uh, wizard here <clears throat> and you're going to click uh, the plus sign you're going to type in nintendo entertainment system you're going to select that it has a sub wheel and then you're going to go to the wheel settings tab like i have here you're going to select nintendo entertainment system you're going to go to the emulator tab and you're going to uh, basically put the path of where you drop the Nestopia uh, file. And uh, go figure, it looks like I named Nestopia twice here, um, which it doesn't matter here, guys, uh, in HyperHQ. Uh, because essentially the, uh, well, since I'm here, we're going to, we're going to fix that, but it, it doesn't matter. Um, <clears throat> rocket launcher will basically override this. This is uh, basically for uh, uh, yeah, it's weird. Um, this is basically for the setup of uh, hyper XML spin, uh, especially when you've got playlists. So, um, yep. So once you've passed uh, Nestopia um, to your folder. You're going to put in the uh, game path as well, and then your extensions are going to be zip and NES. Uh, there's the command line preview, hyperlaunch.exe, Nintendo Entertainment System, and then the game name. Uh, we're going to go to the wheel because I've customized all the wheels to have the same look and feel, so I changed the alpha here. Navigation of themes, I always select the animate uh, themes out and reload and everything else is uh, basically default here. And the sound tab and the special art tab. So I use special art, so I've got the banners uh, at the bottom in the top right uh, for genre art and the uh, joysticks. So if you guys use those, uh, there's the setup that I've got. Now that you've got a media folder uh, in your hyperspin setup, I'm gonna go ahead and close your uh, Hyper HQ window and while we're here, uh, you're going to want to get the database from Hyperlist off of Hyperspin. You'll just go down to uh, the system here, and you're going to click uh, XML to download the uh, XML file. And what you'll do is you'll drop this into the Hyperspin database and then the system name uh, here. And then you'll just name the XML uh, Nintendo Entertainment System. And we'll move on to uh, the media. So 
under uh, hyperspinfe.com. There's a download section for Nintendo Entertainment System. There's a slew of options here. We've got uh, a lot of game themes. Uh, so this one looks uh, pretty pretty, if you will. So, um, yep. So let's keep on going. We're going to go to uh, Rocket Launcher UI next. We're going to go to Global Settings. We're going to go to uh, the Emulators tab. And you're going to scroll down to Nestopia. If you don't see that, you're going to push the plus sign. And I'm going to double click this. You're going to see something that looks like this. You'll type in Nestopia if it's not here already. You'll find the emulator path that uh, you put your emulator file uh, location. And then the ROM extensions are going to be Z or 7, 7Z, NES, FDS, and ZIP. And the module is going to be Nestopia. Now, there are other uh, emulators that the Nintendo Entertainment System uh, supports. This one uh, was my favorite of them all. Um, there's also a, a 3D NES, and that, that's pretty cool. Um, I'll show you how to use an alternate emulator for a, a later video. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and close this out. And what we're going to do is go down to Nintendo, Nintendo Entertainment System now. And you're going to go to the Settings tab. And the main settings, it looks like everything's set to global. If you haven't already seen my uh, Rocket Launcher video for the global settings, definitely check that out. I've got skip checks set to false. And next we've got fade general. I've got everything set to global. And bezels I've got set to global as well. So we're moving along the path here. So next we've got the emulators tab. You're gonna select the game uh, folder that you've got. You're gonna push the plus sign. You're gonna go to default emulator, Nestopia, by clicking the magnifying glass. So you can see all the other uh, emulators that it supports. And what you see below here, you can ignore that. Um, you, you don't need any of that. So uh, next, we're going to go to the modules tab. And if you go down to uh, Nestopia, click on the uh, little paper icons. It will give you some notes on uh, you know what we're looking at, since this doesn't encompass anything Nestopia related. Uh, for what we're doing right now, um, I'm going to just X out of that. And we've also got the edit module settings. Go ahead and press that. You see there's a couple extra options that I've got here. Everything's set to one. And I've got full screen set to true. Um, but I've got bezels on, so it, it doesn't matter here, guys. And uh, in terms of the ROM settings uh, folder here, uh, a couple of these uh, have different settings for uh, your game controller. So you can see I've got different ports here and then if it's pads or not pads. Uh, so these are all uh, specific to the pads that I could find. Uh, we're just going to go through these real fast. They all look like they're the same. Just so you guys have all the, the game names here. And to add one of these uh, games, you've just got to push the plus sign here and select the game. And then you'll have to select the uh, drop downs that you see here. Uh, so you can see here this game uh, you know, has the availability for a zapper. So, um, yep, that's, uh, that's it, guys. So... Outside of that, uh, I've got everything uh, set up here, and uh, you know these were just examples of different games with different settings. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and close that out, and we're going to actually get into the emulator now. So I'm going to go ahead and minimize everything here, and we're going to go to Rocket Launcher UI. I'm under the Modules tab, Nestopia, and we are going to push the Launch Emulator. I'm going to click uh, the global one. And here's what you see here, guys. So we're just going to work our way from the top. You might notice that your uh, little banner uh, at the top isn't displaying. It might look like that. So to make that display, you're going to push uh, the right mouse button. If you push that multiple times, it toggles back and forth here. 
you want that to go away. Um, you, you don't want to see the menu when you've uh, launched your system. So once you're done setting it up, just uh, push the right click again so you know you're done. And we're just going to move right along here, guys. So the machine, we've got input set to auto select. Port 1 is pad 1. Port 2 is pad 2. Port 3 I've got unconnected because, again, the Nestopia or Nintendo had two controllers. Uh, and there you go. Next we've got external. Yeah, all this is uh, not needed here. So region, we've got auto. Options, we've got set to dip switch. Next we've got net play. So if you want to do online play, um, I, I'm not interested in that, so I don't select that. View, we've got uh, nothing spectacular here, guys. Uh, again, Rocket Launcher is going to take over here. And here's the meat, meat and potatoes here. We're going to go to Options, Video. You're going to select your, uh, your video card. Mode, I've got 640 by 480. Uh, as long as, you know, th this is a, a window uh, size, Rocket Launcher will support that to fit in your bezel. Uh, we've got filter as standard, video memory pool, palettes auto, I, that, I think that's all auto, uh, auto default. Uh, same with the screens here, but just so you guys see it, I'm gonna go ahead and hit okay. Next, we're gonna go to sound. Select your sound uh, device, and the output's 41 or 44,000 uh, here, and 16-bit, and memory pool is hardware, and latency is uh, what, what is that like one and a half or something? Uh, so just move that uh, to where it seems to uh, work for you guys, and uh, this latency shouldn't really move all that much. All this came default, it works basically out of box. Uh, next we're going to go to input. Now you're going to see a slew of options when it comes to setting up your controllers. So here's all the controllers that you can set up. Here's the keys and then the, uh, the mapping that you have here. Uh, you do notice that I've got a AimTrack device number two. So that is uh, the light gun that uh, I use. And I've got mappable X and Y basically uh, for controller setup for plug and play. So uh, go ahead and check those. And what you'll do is you'll just go to pad one and you'll click the, uh, uh, you'll click pad one. And what you'll do is just, you know, uh, set. You'll push the set button and you'll push the left key. And then you'll go here and you'll push set uh, and you'll push the uh, up key. Uh, so you can see I double clicked up and I pushed up. I can also double click uh, this mapping here and push the right button. If I wanted to map the mic, I could double click the dot dot the ellipse and uh, I can push a button to map that. So uh, that's all you gotta do. These are the keys that you have available to you and these are the mappings that uh, you are setting up. So I'm gonna go ahead and move down to player two you can see the left button uh, I've got set to D and we're gonna just skip on down to pad three and four I've got nothing set up there the power pad I don't have anything set up glove all this other stuff um, you know there are some uh, configurations that I uh, assigned here uh, but you really don't need all, all of this uh, here unless you've got a special game here that you um, are after here in terms of insert coins, you don't necessarily need to do that. Um, and something to point out when you're, you know, if you like saving states, uh, go and set that up. Uh, F5 and F6 is sort of the standard across all the systems, at least what I've got. You want to set your exit to escape. But again, Rocket Launcher will uh, override that. Uh, with the dual keys that you set up for exit, which is recommended because escape doesn't always work uh, for certain emulators. So uh, it's just better habit to, uh, uh, you know, use escape when you can, but using the rocket launcher escape key uh, to escape your emulator. Next, we're going to go to machine. Doesn't look like there's anything special there. Uh, all that is uh, default. 
Same with the sound here. The views, everything looks uh, good there. That's all default. And uh, yep, that's all default. So there's really not a whole lot of stuff to set up here, guys. Um, you know, uh, you will want to check this uh, box down at the bottom uh, just to allow the uh, diagonals uh, to happen, essentially. Um, but yeah, that's, that's it, guys, on the inputs. Next, we're going to go to timing. Here's what I've got set for timing. Let me go ahead and X out of that. And paths. Uh, you're going to want to select the images uh, folder in your Nestopia folder and the save state. Uh, you've got save data. There's a, a folder where your uh, save states will show up as well. And yep, just kind of mirror what you got here. There's your cheats. Uh, you basically push the browse button and you find your cheats folder, which I'll be including in the mega site. Also the patches. And screenshots and sound. So we're just mapping all those folders that are in your Nestopia folder that you've uh, extracted. And we're gonna go to preferences. Here's what I've got set to preferences here. Uh, we've got NES style. Um, we've got auto start emulation, suppress warnings and enable message logging. Uh, I've got cheat list activated launch list activated and net play list uh, essentially activated on save on exit. So I'm going to go and uh, X out of that. And we're going to go to cheats next. So with all of those uh, cheat files that I, I basically supplied with you, if you uh, basically go to uh, you know the cheats here. So you know if you were to launch a game and then, you know, you decide, okay, you want cheats activated. All you got to do is hit right click. And when you go to options, cheats, uh, these would be the cheats that would be available for your game. Uh, so this is pre-defaulted to the game that was last ran. And all you would need to do is uh, check the box uh, here. And uh, yeah, that, I mean, that that's it, guys. So... Um, you basically how do I say it? so once you check it you just hit add and it shows up and the cheats are activated just as if you were uh, you know using a game genie um, you know if you don't want those cheats on uh, later you just uncheck them and uh, yep the, you're good to go so uh, everything will be uh, showing up uh, by default uh, using that folder that I'm going to be supplying uh, for you guys and uh, enjoy that. Next we got databases. Gonna just check internal and then we've got languages set to English and autosaver. Uh, yep I, I don't have anything set up there. So that's it guys on the Nestopia. It's a pretty basic one um, to get set up and it's a staple if you uh, ask me. So uh, yeah, you've got uh, the Nintendo Entertainment System set up, and uh, you know I'll talk through uh, uh, the 3D uh, Nestopia and FC EUX at a later time. But there's a lot of different emulators here, guys, and they all have great compatibility. So I hope this helps you guys, and uh, we'll catch you next time.